Why methane does not cause global warming. Global warming is blamed on increasing greenhouse gas emissions. The three main greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. But as this video will show, not all these different gases contribute to global warming. For New Zealand, most of the CO2 we emit is sourced from burning fossil fuel to generate electricity and drive our cars. Most of the methane we emit is sourced from livestock. The emissions from methane are biological and cyclical. They therefore do not have the same impact as the CO2 emissions from fossil fuel, which are not cyclical. To understand why this is important, we need to understand the theory of global warming. The theory of global warming is that human activity increases the concentration of greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. This increases the greenhouse effect and causes the planet to warm. The quantity of CO2 in the atmosphere increases when we burn fossil fuels. This CO2 stays in the atmosphere for hundreds of years. Methane is different. It breaks down to CO2 in just a few years. If livestock numbers stay the same, methane breaks down at the same rate the cows are emitting it. The concentration of methane does not increase. The CO2 grows the grass. Cow eats grass. Cow belches methane. Methane breaks down to CO2. The CO2 grows the grass, etc. If the number of livestock in the world remains constant, these methane emissions do not alter the composition of the atmosphere, they just maintain it. It is all part of a cycle. Therefore, they do not cause global warming. So why does our government and environmental groups believe methane is such a problem? The problem is that in reality, methane is different to CO2, as we have just discussed. But the government treats them as if there is no difference and calls them both carbon. The emissions of all the different greenhouse gases are lumped together and referred to as carbon emissions. Carbon stands for carbon dioxide equivalent and quantifies the different effect of each gas in relation to CO2. CO2 is equivalent to itself. Every ton of CO2 produced equals one ton of carbon emitted. Methane has a warming ability 28 times that of CO2. So for every ton of methane produced, they say that 28 tons of carbon has been emitted. 35% of New Zealand's theoretical carbon emissions are created this way. While these activities all contribute to New Zealand's total emissions of 80,000 tons of the theoretical carbon unit per year, carbon is a nonsensical unit because it does not reflect what really happens. The methane every cow produces adds to the stock of theoretical carbon, but it does not add to the stock of methane in the atmosphere. Our livestock are not the problem the politicians and the environmentalists think they are. However, this does not mean that methane is not a problem at all. If we increase the numbers of livestock in the world, we do increase the atmospheric concentration of methane. But this only applies to a very small part of New Zealand's methane emissions, and means that around 5% of farmers' methane emissions may be causing catastrophic global warming, but 95% of it is not. If you are concerned about global warming, you should not want to reduce emissions which do not need reducing. New Zealand's carbon emissions are very high, but 35% of those carbon emissions are not causing global warming. Motu said in their report, Emissions of methane do not have to decline to zero for the climate to stabilize, they only have to stop increasing. If the flow of methane into the atmosphere stopped rising, and there were no other greenhouse gas emissions, the temperature of the atmosphere would stabilize in a few decades.